my name is Noah, and I'm going to tell you about a rainstorm. What's that? You've seen a rainstorm. Oh, I'm sure you have. But I'll bet you've never seen one like the one I'm going to tell you about now. Now that was a rain. A mighty rain. And here's how it came to be. It all happened a long, long, long time ago. And a long time before that. I was a farmer at the time. I was pretty content to live out the rest of my life that way. But my wife had other ideas. Noah? Noah? Where are you? I'm out here in the field, dear. Just doing a little planting. Just doing a little planting. That's all you ever do. How do you ever expect to amount to anything? But being a farmer is important. I grow food for people, and people need food. I'm not talking about other people, Noah. I'm talking about us. What about us and our family? How are you going to take care of us if all you do is farm this land? But I am taking care of us. I built our house with my own hands. I trade the food I grow for clothes for you and our sons. We eat well. Really, dear, it's a good life we lead. Not as good as some. What do you mean? Oh, you know. There are plenty of people in this village who are better off than we are. Some of my friends have married very well, let me tell you. Very well, indeed. Like who? My friend Helen. Her husband is a banker. He makes lots of money. He steals lots of money, you mean? Everyone in the village knows he's a crook. He lends money out at very high rates to the poor people. And then when they can't pay, he takes their land and their houses and their crops. I suppose you want me to be like him? Would it hurt you? It's not right. It's not honest. I don't think God would like it. God? What's he got to do with it? He made the earth and the sky and the rivers and all of us. And he wants us to be good, not wicked. I don't know anything about your God and what he wants. I just know there are plenty of people around here a lot better off than we are. Who else? All right, I'll tell you. My friend Benita. She married someone who's a judge. Some judge. You know what he does? If someone in the village does the least little thing wrong, I mean a simple, honest mistake, that judge of Benitez hauls him off to jail. What's wrong about that? Then the judge says, Well, I'll release you from jail if you pay me some gold pieces. So the man goes free and the judge gets rich. That's your judge for you. Well, Noah, it wouldn't hurt you to learn something from successful men like that. All my friends laugh at me. Their husbands are rich, powerful. And you? A farmer. I try to do what's right. God made me a farmer. And I'll try to be the best farmer I can be. And I won't lie and cheat and steal to get there either. There's enough of all that around us now. And I'll tell you something else. What is it? If I were God, I'd be angry at all the wickedness and dishonesty and lying and cheating going around. If you were God... Some dream, Noah. Why, you're so little and poor that God wouldn't be seen even talking to you. What do you know about what he'd want? I just believe, that's all. I think that people have to be good, that's all. Hmm. Then you're an old fool and you're all alone thinking that people should be good. That's not how people get ahead. Hmm. I have to go inside and wash some clothes. Rich people have servants to wash their clothes for them, but not us. No, you're too good for that. Hmm. You're too good for that. My husband's too good. Oh, dear. I do love her, but she just doesn't seem to understand. I don't think that people should be wicked and evil. I don't either, Noah. Who said that? I did, Noah. I don't believe people should be wicked either. Who are you? Where did you come from? You weren't here a minute ago. I'm God. 